Uh, good morning, Tasha. Good morning. We have just had a wonderful exhibition of your new little fellow, Henry, here yep. at SeaWorld, the polar bear exhibit. And he really performed well for us this morning. <laughs> he's, he's a cheeky growing. little boy. Oh, he's grown and so fast. He's, he's a cheeky boy. He's doing very well by the look of it. Yeah. You might be able to tell me a little bit about um, you know, recent, the recent arrival. Sure. And um, how he's, he looks so he's ready to graduate from preschool, <laughs> I think. He's but pretty close to it. You might tell us a little bit about your... Of course. Uh, of course. Exhibit. Well, he's just turned six months old. Uh, so he's named Henry. He's with his mum, Leah and he's the very first polar bear cub that we've had born here at SeaWorld. He's only the second in Australia. So the last polar bear cub born in Australia was actually back in the 1980s at Adelaide Zoo. So it's a really exciting uh, chance for us here at SeaWorld to have little Henry with us. And as I said, only six months, just up turned six months old. That's wonderful. And this um, actually environment has been built especially for Henry? That's right, that's right. We do have polar bear shores as a precinct. We've got a very large main exhibit area that we can house our bears on. We've created a polar bear little preschool area for him with a, a shallower pool, different levels, you know, smaller heights, basically like a, a little uh, mini version of our main exhibit just to get him comfortable whilst he's growing. And as you can see, he absolutely loves he it does. out there. And um, temperature wise, because he's been born here, yes. um, the in, uh, local temperature is fine. It doesn't have to be modified to adjust to his. Do you know what? We huh? can if we want to, but you're 100% correct in saying that we don't need to. In fact, Leah, his mum, she has grown up here at SeaWorld as well. She, we've had her here since she's been nine months old. So she's also incredibly comfortable with these temperatures, as are the uncle and the father, Hudson and Nelson. Uh, we can actually change the temperatures though, like on a beautiful day like today, we can actually chill the water down to around about 14 degrees if we wanted to. We've got uh, misters and uh, waterfalls and rain machines, so we can actually make it quite cold in there if we wanted to. And of course, they've always got access to their air-conditioned dens as well. But it's quite funny because the bears have grown up here. They are very Gold Coast bears. They actually won't go swimming if the water's too cold. Ah. So <laughs> they're a bit like me. They like it warm. That's right. Cheers. Toe in. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. It's quite funny in the yes. winter time to watch yes. them. They uh, they really don't yes. want to go swimming. And. Um, uh, for the polar bears to breed, it must, uh, the mothers must be in peak condition, That's obviously. You exactly can tell us right. a little bit about that? Of course. Um, basically, in the wild, uh, a polar bear mother would actually mate with a male. Um, and then they have a delayed implantation of the embryo. So the female has to be in peak, perfect physical condition. Because what she would then go do is uh, create an ice den, dig out an ice den, and stay in that ice den and give birth to the cubs. And stay there for three months not eating a single thing. So she has to survive off her fat stores. So in order for her to implant that embryo, she has to be in the most perfect physical condition. And it's a testament um, to our keepers here at SeaWorld. She has obviously been in peak uh, condition and we now have little Henry. That's right, that's absolutely right. Thank you, Thank you very much, Tasha. We'll go Pleasure. and see the big boys now. Cool, awesome, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs>